Greetings fellow Decepticons, Sandblaster1987 here with my review of Transformers for last night, Leader Megatron. As you can see, Leader Class Megatron here is his Cybertronian slash Earth hybrid jet fighter than he was in the last night movie. First of all, yeah, Travis Knight, Transformers movies after Michael Bay's uh, run from films 1 through 4. As you can see, he is very, very well detailed in a combination of uh, Charcoal and gunmetal grey colours with a few bits of paint wash here and there for battle damage detailing. The features in this mode, the cockpit opens, though you can't fit anything in there because nothing is small enough to fit in that cockpit. Then, pressing this button here will allow you to split open the cockpit the same way your Cybertron Wing Saber Cyber Key gimmick works. So, one press of a button and then you can extend this barrel here. That's where these uh, flamethrower pieces come in, but uh, are very similar to the club that animated snarl the Triceratops came with. So you can plug one of these flame blast effects in here for a uh, aerial flamethrower attack. There's also a couple of guns molded into the front here as well. There's a retractable landing skate at the front. Just Fold that away for now. And for storage in tighter spaces, the wings can fold forward like this. Not in official mode, although I like to wear, consider this an unofficial, like, uh, you know, streamlined speed attack mode. Like a 10 second burst attack kind of thing. Because the yeah, wings are somewhat blade like when they're facing forward. You have to forgive the condition of mine, some of the parts have got damaged and warped from storage, so bear with me on that one. So, for size comparison, here is last night Megatron with... Studio Series 34 Dark of the Moon Megatron, another leader class figure. As you can see, they're about the same length, apart from these rubber spikes on Dark of the Moon Megatron. And... The wingspan is only just a little bit wider than the length of Studio Series Megatron, so putting him off to one side. So, to transform there, uh, well, before I begin transformation of Last Night Megatron, I should also point out that the Flame Blast effects can plug into these thrusters at the back here. However, leaving them there for too long can cause things to get fragile when in their uh, storage. And it can also cause stress marks on the ports. So, also there's this sort of sword axe blade weapon thing that Megatron comes with, which has a peg here that goes into this port on the back just here. More for robot mode storage than anything else, but... Plus also it can trigger the cockpit button if it faces the wrong way, so be advised. So, to transform Megatron, first, what you want to do is disconnect the wings from the thrusters. As you can see, one of the thrusters actually sheared off a hinge on mine, so I'll do my best to approximate the transformation with that damage in mind. So, you want to double hinge the wing panel forward like so. Disconnect the wings and hinge them forwards like so. Just like this for now, and then we'll come back to that in a moment. Then what you want to do is unclip the intakes from this area here and hinge them outwards to make the knees re-solidify. Disconnect the thruster assemblies if they haven't disconnected themselves already. Then unfold, snap the knee into place, rotate 90 degrees and fold down. Then flip the intakes in like so to reveal the heel spurs and close these panels to secure the legs to prevent any hollowness issues. Like so. Flipping the toes up if you haven't already. Then what you want to do is fold down the chest plate like so, bring out the head. Then begin to split the arms apart. A little bit tricky this bit, so bear with me. So what you want to do is 
begin to separate the arms, then this panel in the middle is connected to one arm, but we can't be connected to the other, so disengage those. Like so. Bring those out to one side. Then with the chest plate still loose, unfold the shoulder like so. On both sides. Then flip out the hands. Getting your nails into this groove here to help with that sometimes if necessary. Should not have trimmed my nails last night. So that's that done. So bring this arm down. Fold this panel inwards to close up the hollowness. Then with this arm, what you want to do is you want to disconnect the cockpit from the actual arm itself then bring the cockpit down the armature the other way around and fold it in on itself pushing the hand out of the process and that will bring out the fusion cannon arm fold this arm down and out of the way then reconnect the chest and head assembling like so to lock it all into place. Finally what you want to do with the backpack is to fold the wings in like so then rotate the larger parts of the wings on this armature like so so that they point over the shoulders like blades then Fold these parts inwards so the tail fins go into this gap here. Fold these bits in, then rotate the wings downwards like so. To form a sort of uh, cape type appearance. Then with the yeah, thruster assemblies, if they are still disconnected, basically what you do is you just slot them in above the shoulders, behind the shoulders like so, just to keep them in position. Best you can do really under the circumstances with uh, these parts being damaged on my copy. I'll just leave those off for now because they're just going to keep causing problems. So, here we have Megatron in his uh, robot mode. For articulation in this mode, the head can swivel, but not very much because of the moulding of the arm and whatnot. 360 degree shoulders, limited by the back kibble. In and outward movement. Bicep swivel. 90 degree elbows, then only go where inwards. Then there's a wrist swivel on both arms as well. Then ratcheted hips, well ratcheted forward and back and then hinged outwards. Swivel just above the knee for transformation. 90 degree knee bend. and an inward ankle tilt for dynamic poses. For gimmicks in this mode, the, um, the cannon can still have the flame blast inside it like so. And he can hold his sword axe weapon thing in the other hand. So, 
and there's a lever on the back of his head, kind of like animated in Cybertron Optimus Prime, where you can either retract or activate the mouth plate, like so, doing so while spring load being his mammoth tusks out of the way. So, this is what it looks like with a normal mouth, and with a mouth plate. For size comparison. One, action. Here we have Last Night Leader Megatron with his uh, Studio Series 34 Dark of the Moon counterpart from two movies previous. So that more or less concludes my Last Night Leader Megatron review. I have been Sound Blaster 1987. Join me next time when my next review will be on Dark of the Moon Leader Megatron Studio Series 34. Till then, till all are one.